take whatever amount of footage I have and try to boil it down to about 30%. The thing is that you really don't know exactly how the footage is going to play in the cut. You just really have to, you know, watch every frame. Editing documentaries makes you fearless. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, it was a film about the suicide of a 15-year-old boy that was made by his mother. His father was the cinematographer, his mom was the producer and director. And uh, we, Dana Perry, the director, she and I spent the better part of three months, I think, looking at all this footage, including probably 70 hours of home movies because they are professional filmmakers themselves. They had all this amazing home movie footage. It, talking about the, the evolution of this opening, it, it really relates to looking at this home movie footage uh, because two things uh, that we saw here evolved from it. One was um, the question that Dana asked me while we were watching it because there were all these shots of Evan jumping. And if when you watch the film, you learn that the way he killed himself was he, he leapt to his death from his bedroom window. Uh, and she wondered what he had felt throughout his life jumping, because he was fascinated with height and with the idea of falling. So that, there's a little suggestion of that in, in this opening. And the other thing was, uh, in watching this, we came across this remarkable piece of footage which opens the film, where he, the little boy, is behind the camera and he goes around talking to his parents, interviews his brother asleep, and then turns the camera kind of magically on himself and reveals himself. So now you have me, your cameraman. Am I good or am I bad? The mystery of what happened to him, he's asking himself. There was something about this footage that they had shot late on, this tree being cut down and then trimmed and finally engraved with the boy's name. And then it just sort of evolved that by intercutting the, the, the little fragments from the various boys who he, he knew at school and his, uh, his half-brother and then finally his grandmother, those pieces of film, um, would, would play intercut with the creation of this, this being. It was sort of the third week of school, I think, that he... He chose to take his life. One of the things that you do, I think, or at least that I do unconsciously, to avoid things that are really too painful to confront, is just block them out. So that, I mean, that's kind of how it evolved out of, what, 150 hours of footage. You know, to, I'm just trying to give you some sort of feeling for how I, uh, I worked with it. And so I worked. It took, you know, it took a couple of weeks to really develop this uh, opening, but um, I just felt it was the right way to go, not only because of the symbolic value of it, but it also gave me something that I could finish the film with that was somewhat up, it's not a film, but somewhat up, hopeful. <laughs>